Hey folks, welcome to Green Ant Gardening. It is early September here in the garden and I'm watching Yellow Jack because we've got another nest somewhere and I'm just trying to kind of stay away from these guys. So uh, let's go explore the garden a bit. So uh, the Yellow Jackets really like this area here and I'm suspecting that there is a nest somewhere in all of this but I really haven't been able to harvest the banana peppers here of late because of them and um, kind of unfortunate that may be the case today uh, you can see the zinnias are just absolutely taking over everything here which uh, yeah it's unfortunate makes it harder to makes it hard to figure out where these yellow jackets are actually coming from they are aggressive they don't like me being here so I'll move on a bit move over here maybe video from here my guess thing is that there is a nest somewhere amongst all these zinnias but the blueberries have started to come back a little bit I put some mere acid on it I think pH is uh What's becoming an issue, and um, since I've been fertilizing with some mere acid, I've seen um, a little bit of a rebound here. So I'm going to keep that kind of fertilizer on them through the end of the growing season, at least, and maybe they'll uh, come on and and do well again. Finally, I still have weeds to pull, but I mean, you can see from here all the weeds. It's just ridiculous. The apple trees aren't doing much in the way of anything. Uh, nothing else to report really back here. The corn has finally started to dry out some. We still have a little bit of the corn smut. I haven't pulled this yet. I don't know how long you're supposed to let it dry. So uh, we're just, I'm just kind of leaving it to its own thing. The pumpkins have absolutely exploded. They're doing phenomenal. Um, it's great to really see them like this. And the one lone vine from the original ones that I planted is making pumpkins. You can see this one here. It's going to be about their final size, too. I got one down there. And I didn't take these weeds up, unfortunately, and they're growing all out this way. And I've got. Uh, I think that's the pumpkin that broke off that was right there, but you can see two more pumpkins there, and it's growing on up that way. So, uh, yeah, they're doing really well. The gourds, well, the gourds, we're doing gourd things, and it looks like that vine has actually died, so the little bitty gourd that was growing there is not going to make it, unfortunately. These gourds, vines are still alive, but they're not producing any any fruit per se. Things just kind of got away from it in that regard. This one seems to still be growing. And we've got a, uh, where did I spot it? You know, that one little gourd right there. So maybe it'll come on and do something. We just don't have good luck with gourds here at all for some reason. I don't know if I'll grow them again next year or not. The tomatoes bit, bit the dust. Uh, the experiment in the buckets was an absolute failure. We won't be doing that again next year at all. I've been using this filling holes in the garden. The yokra has done what it always does. It's growing absolutely crazy. I've got a good bit of it to harvest. But with the yellow jackets around, I don't know that I will actually stand out here with the camera and harvest it per se. You see these are getting upwards from about seven feet tall, which is really great. Yeah, the yellow jackets are really after me now. Um, bell peppers, we had a few that are trying to make the uh, gigantic tomato of doom is completely taken over everything unfortunately I mean it's great I've never had a tomato do that well but um it's it's really made life hard for the peppers here and I just don't know how much success we're gonna 
have out of these peppers through the end of the year at this point it's just kind of a salvage operation We've got 22 okra that's pretty good a little bit lower than what we have been having but that's okay about time for things to sort of slow down a bit okay we're gonna try to harvest some banana peppers I get chased too much by the uh, yellow jackets over here. Got a lot out here that are just ruined like this. They're good to us, fortunately. Yeah, we have five. Seven. The problem is become it's so heavy. Oh, I just broke it. Become so heavy they're breaking. The limbs are failing. I don't know if I can do this with these yellow jackets. Figure out where they're where they're coming from. They definitely like this area. I've got them roused up again. Right, I guess that's it for tonight. But uh, I will get these harvested at some point, and you can see the size on them at least. And I'll update the video with that. Until next time, keep digging. Keep growing.